and welcome to Modalities Movement Therapy. This is week 40 of these online sessions and today we're going to be using a foam roller, a soft reflex ball and a hard reflex ball. If you don't have the, either one of these balls, then a tennis ball will do. Today we're going to work with the spiral line and the deep core line. So with the deep core line, we're going to focus a lot on the breathing, releasing the deep core line so we can breathe more efficiently. With the spiral movements, we're going to be using the, uh, the rover a lot. So you are going to need one of those. Let's begin in standing and start um, with the harder reflex ball. Take the ball under the big toe and let's roll over the arch of the foot all the way to the heel. While you're doing this, I want you to be aware of your breathing. So focusing on breathing through the nose, in through the nose and out through the nose. As we move along the different lines in the body, we're going to start with that deep core line. Then I want you to focus your attention on the breathing and see how the breathing changes the more we release that deep core line. Roll with it on the lateral side of the foot and wherever you feel you need it the most. That inside line of the foot, that's part of that deep core line where we go over the arch of the foot, the big toe as well. Let's now open up the toes, spread them out and roll over the ball of the foot from side to side. So just preparing the body nicely for the work. Let's lift the foot up and a nice quick proprioceptive movement. Just wake up those nerves and now feel that tingling in the foot. And that's your awareness of your body and space as you're just waking up those nerve endings. So because the fascial tissue surrounding the muscles is close to the surface and it's also got about 10 times more neural pathways in it than the rest of the body, than the muscles, um, you should feel quite sensitive there. The movements will be quite sensitive. Focus a lot on the breathing because the breathing we deal with the autonomic nervous system and that will help ease you into those movements. Some of them, even if you just hold the movements and focus on your breathing, for, because breathing creates movement, you'll feel a nice release. Let's bring the ball under the arch of the foot and change direction. Circle it around there. We're going to take the heel onto the mat, spread the toes out and roll from side to side. Open up those toes as wide as you can and get a nice stretch into the foot and a nice release. Let's work into that quick proprioceptive movement and release the ball. You can put the ball to the side. Now I want you to take the other ball if you have that option and bring it just underneath the ankle bones. So now the breathing comes into um, account. We're focusing on the deep core line, which runs from the arch of the foot up the inside line of the legs. So I want you to rise up and down onto the balls of the feet. As you come up, breathing in. As you go out, down, breathe out. Breathe in and out. Do another four. Try and focus on the big toe, that's where it'll help you with your stability. Three, and two, and one. Now you're going to take a nice deep breath in. And I want you to roll down through your spine and hang out and then just bounce. Relax your head, nod it from side to side if there's any tension in the neck. Now, while you're down here, I want you to move the ball just above the ankle bones 
and breathe in again to the lifted position. Rise back up and down onto the balls of the feet. Try and control the movement. So when you come into that lift, hold it there for a few seconds and breathe out as you drop down. Keep going, let's do another two. And another one. Good, nice deep breath in. Roll down through the spine. Again, just relax and hang out there. Stretch the back line. Take the ball higher between the calves now. And again, you're going to squeeze that ball. Breathe in. As you come up, relax the shoulders. And rise up and down again. going. Last one. Rise up. Breathe out. Again, nice deep breath in. Roll down through the spine. Hang out there and bow. Bring the ball up between the calves. Squeezing the ball. Breathe in. And curl through the spine. And again, we rise up and down. Keep going, squeeze that ball, nice deep breath in and out. Two more, nice deep breath in and out. Last one. Again, up we go, breathing in. Roll down and relax. Take the ball between the knees now and breathing in and curl through the spine and rising up and down. Breathing in. Hopefully you'll feel that the breath is becoming a lot easier. You're able to breathe in a little bit more and on the exhalation a little bit longer. Nice deep breath in and breathe out. And again, last two and the last one and breathe out. One more time breathing in, roll down through the spine and breathe Release the ball from between your knees and I want you to step at the back of the mat. Come up onto the balls of the feet. And I want you just to walk around like you've got a pair of very high heel shoes on. Just walking one foot at a time. Moving around. Right up on the balls of the feet. Feel the calves engaging. And just walk nice and tall. Keep walking around the back of that. And come back and step to the back of the mat. Now we're going to do some toe curls. So I want you to pinch the mat between the ball of the foot. Again, one at a time. And walk, pull yourself forward on the mat. Squeeze and pull yourself forward. All the way to the front of the mat. Keep going all the way to the front of the mat and then just walk yourself back. From there, take the 
right foot in front, let's go into a lunge position. Now bend your knees and lift the heel of the back. Open up if you can a little bit more. Now link the hands behind the back. And I want you to lean back into, your, into the ball of your back foot. Now you're going to stay there nice and open. Squeeze the glutes to support and help you with your balance. And nod the head from side to side. Hold it in that position, looking ahead, and bounce into that lunge. Bounce. We're going to hold it here for 30 seconds. And focus on opening up across the chest and breathing into it. We've got 10 seconds to go. Lift the back foot up, and I want you to balance there. Relax the shoulders, relax the upper body. Spread the toes out on the mat, and now lift your big toe, and feel how much harder you have to work to stabilize yourself. Now change and push the big toe down into the mat. Lift the little toes up, and you're feeling that stability is a little bit easier but still quite a challenge. Feel the feet having to work really hard. Let's release it and do the same thing to the other side. So the, the left foot is now in front. Onto the ball of the back foot. Stance as wide as possible, but it is going to challenge your balance the wider you go. Bend well into the knees, especially that back knee. Lift the fingers behind the back. Lean yourself back, nod your head from side to side. Good, back to the center, hold it in that lean back and bounce. Your 30 seconds starts now. While you're in this position, focus on the breathing and feel the back quadricep, the front of that back leg working as well nice stretch especially if you're a runner we focus a lot on the quads when we run that's predominantly one of the big major muscles that we use so releasing it you'll already benefit from that and release balance on that front foot and lift that big lift the little toes up so we're holding that big toe down into the mat. And now change. Push the little toes down and lift the big toe. A nice mental challenge as well. Lift that big toe up. Sometimes it doesn't want to cooperate. Focus on pushing those little toes down. And a really nice challenge for the balance. Stabilize yourself. Think about the glutes. Think about your breathing. Oops. And release it. Have a quick drink of water and we're going to go down onto the mat. Onto your knees. Bring your foam roller next to the mat. And the opposite hand under the shoulder and the same hand, the same arm, the one that's closest to the roller, the thumb. So we're focusing on the front arm line all the way up into those pectoral muscles. So this hand is pointing towards the roller and the hand is directly under the shoulder. We're going to bounce up for four, three, two, one. Now I want you to tap from the tailbone. On the exhalation, you're rounding that spine and coming into that rounded, rounded position. Breathe in and bounce. Two, three, four. Breathe out. 
out and tap. Three and four. Breathe in and bounce. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Keep going. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Two more. Breathe in. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. The last one. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Position that hand that was on the roller. So the fingers are pointing away from the foam roller. Take the other arm. So we're focusing on the back arm line now. Spread the fingers out. We're going to do the same. Pulse. Two, breathe in here. Three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Breathe in and pulse. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Three to go. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three, four. Breathe in for the last one. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tap. Two, three. I think this is the last one, so we do five. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Good. Roll over or move around to the other side. Taking the same arm and that has just been on the foam roller and working the front arm line. We're going to bounce. Two, breathe in here. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and bounce. Two, three. Four, breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Three more. One, two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Two to go. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. The last one. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, Three, four. Position that hand in front of the roller and the other hand onto the roller. Knife edge on and bounce. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and bounce. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Breathe in and bounce. Two, three. Four, breathe out and tuck. Two, three, two more. Breathe in. Two, breathe out and tuck. Last one, nice deep breath in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and tuck. Two, three, four. Good. From there, let's bring the roller underneath the neck and we're going to release the shoulders and the neck. Lying flat on your back. Bring your neck onto the roller and let's just give it a nice release. Nod the head from side to side. back to the center, hug your knees into your chest, rock yourself to a seated position, bring the shoulder blades onto the roller, bring your head back into your hands and lift your lower back or your tailbone off the roller. Stay nice and open around the diaphragm so you can focus more on your breathing and again in and out through the nose. Releasing the shoulder blades. So both the shoulder blades are on the roller at the moment. If you can, I want you to work a little bit deeper. Bring both elbows over to the right side. So rock your weight into the right shoulder blade and roll over that shoulder blade. Right up to the neck and to the base of the shoulder blade.
make your feet up if you need to. And over to the other side when you're ready. Both elbows rock onto the left side. the knees into the chest, rock yourself back to a seated position and roll around onto your quads. So let's release the front of the legs, elbows in front, try to relax the feet onto the mat and roll over the knees if you can. Walk your elbows back and loop all the way up to the hips. Now, like we did on the shoulder blades, I want you to put a little bit more weight into the right side. So lean into that right leg. You can cross the left ankle over the right and take a little bit more weight into that right quadrus. And do the same thing to the other side. Very sensitive area to be rolling along. Try not to frown, try to relax the face, focus more on your breathing. the roller back onto your hands and knees. Let's position the roller to the one side of the mat. Let's work now over the foot. So if you're working on the, if you're mirroring me on the left side, we're going to roll over the top of the foot. Roll around that big toe and up over the ankle, move around the ankle bones a little bit and down the side, the lateral side of the foot, over the toes as well. Good, so take that foot in front and we're going to come into a knee box position. Take the ball and I want you to work along in front on that hip flexor. Now we have released the quads, so this shouldn't need too much releasing, but just work right underneath that hip bone where that hip flexor is. Move over the quad, over the glutes there. So just working that lateral side of the glutes and around the back a little bit. Spend a few seconds just getting a nice deep release. Work up, so where the hip bone is, that sacroiliac spine in the lower back. Take the ball and you can massage a little bit around that area as well. That needs a little bit of tweaking. Let's now take the ball onto the inside of that foot and roll over the big toe a little bit more. We did that just now, but I want you to focus more underneath the ankle bone into the arch of the foot now. Let's now take the ball up behind the ankle bone. So we also, when we were in standing, we released this, the inside line of the body. So just a quick release up there and now move on to the knee a little bit more. Work 
working now along the inside of the thigh, along the, the adductors. So you can use the ball. Otherwise, get deeper into it, a little bit deeper with the elbow. more find your preference the elbow or the ball and just give that a good release now from there so you're still on the left side you're going to really bring the roller into your waist so bring the elbow on outside of the foam roller hold on to the roller with both hands and bring the knees to the diagonal and then you can slide forward and back Almost like someone's punching you in the belly button as you pull back and pulling from the weight from that belly button as you come forward. Breathe out, tuck, breathe in and tuck. Breathe in and tuck. Get another two and tuck. And another one and tuck. Good. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So position the foam roller. And let's start off, if you're now on the right foot, roll over the top of the foot, over those toes lengthways, you can move from side to side a little bit on the big toe, and up and over the ankle, move a little bit from side to side to get the cross fibers there. And around onto that ankle bone, massage around there. You can go a bit up and down that Achilles. Work along that lateral line. And a little bit onto the inside of that foot, just in line with that big toe. And a little bit from side to side. And when you're ready, you can work around that ankle bone. And coming into the knee box position. So open up that leg at the back. And let's massage over the inside of that foot and over the big toe. Let's move behind that ankle bone and just quickly up the inside of that shin. Work around the knee. And along that inner thigh. Either you prefer the ball or let's try and work a little bit with the elbow into releasing that inner thigh. All part of that deep core line. And now taking the ball, let's release the hip flexor a little bit. And work into the glutes. And a bit onto the lateral side of the glutes. Wherever it needs it most. There. Good. And take release the ball. 
bring the knees to the diagonal, hold on to the foam roller, and then slide the waist forward and back. As you come forward, take a nice deep breath in. As you come back, you back and drop the chin to the chest. The more movement in the head, the more you're going to get that benefit of the release. Nice deep breath in and out. And again, breathing in and breathe out. Two more. And breathe out. And the last one, and breathe out. Come back and over to the first side. So come back into the knee box position. Take the reflex ball, the softer one. Bring it under the glutes. And we've done this already on this side, I think. So we just need to go back and do it on the other side. So let's release it there. Take your thumb. Before you take your thumb, I want you to bring that reflex ball into the, into the knee and the thigh behind it. So we're releasing that popliteus muscle. Take the same hand as the foot and you're going to grab hold of that big toe and you can put the elbow down in front. So this is my position from the side and you're going to bounce forward. So open up that back knee as much as possible. And you're going to bounce your upper body forward. Bounce into that stretch. Pull that toe back and really lean into that stretch. Bounce yourself. Let's do the same thing to the other side so you can leave the roller where it is and open up into the knee box. Let's release the glutes. So we're going to roll over the glutes. On that lateral side. So we, we did a little bit of a release with the ball on that lateral side in the knee box position. This is just getting a little bit deeper into the release. and bring it behind the knee. Bend well into the knee. Open up that back leg as much as you can and holding on to that big toe. Drop the elbow in front of the knee or you can keep it on the knee wherever you can reach. And you're going to bounce, opening up that back knee again and bounce into that stretch. Going for three, two, and one. Good. Come back into the foot, onto the first side. Just have a quick drink of water into your knee box position. So we've done a whole lot of those lateral releases um, that will help us move into the spiral line a bit more. So we're going to take both hands onto the foam roller. So you want to try and square yourself off as much as possible to the foam roller so the arms keep extending forward, breathing in here. And as you breathe out, try to keep the elbows straight and bring that back knee into the, into the shoulder. Breathe in, open up that back knee and breathe out. Good, let's go for three. Breathe out and tap. For four, breathe out and tap. For five, breathe out and tap. And six, breathe out and tap. Seven, breathe out and tap. Let's do another three. Breathe out and tap. Two more. 
and we hack for the last one and breathe out. Good, open up that back leg again, release the roller, then bring your elbow underneath your shoulder. Take the top arm and we're going to open up and bounce that arm back. So I want you to follow that hand and breathe in for two, three, four. Now as you breathe out, I want you to bring that elbow in front. So let's try and take it in front of the supporting arm. And you're going to lift up off the hip and you're going to bounce up for four, three, two, and one. Drop the hip. Breathe in, open, two, three, four. Breathe out. If you can't lift up that hip, I want you just to take this arm in front of the supporting elbow and pulse it around for two, three, four. Let's breathe in and open, pulse, two, three, four. Breathe out and drop the arm and lift for two, three, four. Breathe in and pulse. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Two, keep exhaling. Three, four. And open. Breathe out and pulse. Three. We've got three to go. Breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Keep going. Three, two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Last two. Breathe in. Breathe out and lift. Three, four. Last one. Breathe out and lift. Good. And come up. Let's take it over to the other side. So again, a nice open position in that knee box. Let's drop down onto the elbow. So you've got two options. Try not to bring the elbow underneath but in front of that supporting arm. Okay, your two options are pulsing around or lifting the hip and bouncing up into that lifted position. Let's start open and breathe in. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Two, three, four. Breathe in and open. Two, three, four. Breathe out and lift. Breathe in, breathe out and lift, breathe in and open, breathe out and lift, keep going, breathe in, breathe out, four more, breathe in, Breathe out. Three to go. Breathe out. Two more. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Last one. Breathe out. Good, coming up, we're going to now come onto the hands and knees with the foam roller between the knees. So hands and knees, we're taking the weight into the hands for this one, we're going to breathe in, open up an arch. As you breathe out, try and keep the toes Try not to curl the toes under. If the neck is nice and relaxed, you shouldn't feel any cramping in the feet. 
Focus on the breathing and try and stay in this position. Breathe in out. As you breathe out, you're going to squeeze the foam roller, tuck the tailbone under, lift the knees and bounce for two, three, four. Drop down, take a nice deep breath in. In the next position, we're going to squeeze the foam roller in the rounded position. Take the weight off the hands and you're going to bounce the bum back to the heels. So you're going to rock onto one knee and you're going to bounce the bum back to the heels. We're going to come into the center. We're going to breathe in. We're going to breathe out, tucking round to the other side, leaning to the other knee and bounce your bum back to the heels for four. Breathe in for four counts. Back to the beginning. So we're working into those three movements and breathe out. Lift, two, exhaling, three, four. Drop the knees, take a nice deep breath in, out. Breathe out, tuck and round. Take the weight of the hands and lean into one side and bounce your bum back for two, three, four. Drop the knees down, nice deep breath in, out. As you breathe out, squeeze the foam roller and rock to the other knee and bounce for two, three, four. Back again, breathe into the center. Breathe out, weight into the hands, lift the knees and bounce for two, three, four. Drop the knees, take a nice deep breath in, out. As you breathe out, lean into the first side, bounce the bum back, exhaling, two, three, Four, weight into the hands, breathe in, out. Breathe out, tuck and round, lean into the second side and bounce the bum back for two, three, four. We're back to the beginning, breathe in, this is the force. Breathe out, tuck and round, lift the knees and bounce for two, three, four. Drop the knees, breathe in, out. As you breathe out, lean into the first side, lift up off the hands and bounce the bum back. Two, back onto the hands, breathe in, breathe out, tuck and round, squeeze the foam roller, lean into the second side, bounce the bum back. Two, three, four, we're at the beginning, breathe in, arch. Breathe out, tuck and round, lift the knees and bounce for two, three, four. Drop the knees, breathe in, arch. Lean into the first side, lift up off the hands, bounce the bum back. Two, three, four. Breathe in and center. Breathe out, tuck and round, lean into the second side. Breathe out, two, three, Four. Breathe into the beginning. Breathe out, tuck in round, lift and bounce. Two, three, four. Drop the knees, nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, lean into the first side, bounce your bum back. For two, three, four. Drop down, breathe in, arch. Breathe out, squeeze the foam roller, lean into the second side, lift off the hands and bounce. For two, Three, feel the glutes, breathe into the center. From the beginning, breathe out, squeeze the roller, tuck and bounce. Two, three, four, drop down, breathe in and arch. As you breathe out, lean into the first side, lift up of the hands and bounce. For two, three, four, breathe into the center. Breathe out and tuck, squeeze the roller, lean into the second side and bounce. For two, to the center, breathe in, out. Breathe out, tuck, we're gonna do another three sets. Pulse, two, three, four, drop knees, breathe in, out. Lean into the first side, off the hands and bounce. Two, squeeze that foam roller, three, four. Breathe into the center, breathe out and tuck. Lean into the second side, bounce, two, three, two sets to go. Breathe in, start from the beginning. Breathe out, tuck and round, lift the knees and bounce. Two, three, four, drop the knees, nice deep breath in. Breathe out, lean to the first side, lift up off the fingers, onto the fingertips and bounce. Two, three, four, breathe in. Breathe out and tuck. 
Squeeze your low knee onto your fingertips and bounce. Two, three. For the last one, nice deep breath in out. Breathe out and tuck. Lift and bounce. Two, three. Four, drop your knees. Breathe in out. Lean into the first side. Lift onto the fingertips. Bounce. Two, three, four. To the center. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lean into the other side and tuck and bounce. Two, three, four. Good. Uncle, take a nice deep breath in and just give the shoulders a nice roll and nod the head side to side. You can leave the hands behind the back. Put the foam right into one side. We're going to lie on our backs, have a quick drink of water. Take the reflex ball or your tennis ball between your knees. We're going to focus on our arching and tucking and then lifting the knees to the chest. So again, bring that breathing into it. I want you to take your hands onto your rib cage. So lying on your back. If you're taking any strain in your neck, either take the mat and double it up or a cushion or if you have a sweat towel so that you can support the neck so there's no strain in the neck. The reflex ball between the knees and the feet are side by side. Hands onto the rib cage. So the same thing will apply. As we breathe out, I want you to squeeze that ball between the knees and really tilt and tuck the tailbone under as much as you can. Keep the feet as close to the tailbone as possible. So you're not feeling too much happening into the hamstrings. You want to focus more into the glutes. Let's bring the hands onto the, the rib cage, and we're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to follow your breath. So breathe out from, and now squeeze the ball and tuck the tailbone under. So you should be able to get your hands under your bum as you push down and really scoop the belly in. Let's breathe in. So again, four comes in. Let's exhale for four. Three, two, scoop and tuck. Breathe in. Three and four. Breathe out. Exhale. Tuck under. And really get rid of all that air in the lungs. As soon as you need to breathe in, open up an arch. Feel the rib cage expanding and stretching those intercostal muscles. Breathe out, push into the mat, scoop the belly, and tuck the tailbone under as much as you can. A nice deep breath in. Breathe out. Squeezing that ball and tuck the tailbone under. We're going to do another four. Nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, scoop and tuck. Breathe in for three. Breathe out. Scoop and tuck. Two more. Nice deep breath in. Breathe out, scoop and tuck. For the last one, nice deep breath in. So you really want all of that breath out of the lungs and fresh. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Now we're going to add a knee lift. So continue with the same movement. You're breathing in as you breathe out. Tuck, 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 tuck. And once you're in that tuck position, let the feet float off the mat. Drop the feet. A nice deep breath in arch. And as you breathe out, tuck and let the feet float off. Drop the feet. Again, a nice deep breath in. Open up an arch. Breathe out. Scoop and tuck. Let the feet float off. 
you let drop the feet. You're still on the exhalation. Now breathe in. Breathe out, tuck. Feet float off. Drop the feet. Breathe in again. And breathe out. Feet float off. Drop the feet. We're going to do another five. My feet went in. Breathe out, tuck. 40 go, and my feet went in. Breathe out. Feet float off. Drop the feet. Now you breathe in. Let's do another two, and my feet went in. And breathe out. The last one, and my feet went in. As you breathe out, feet float off and bounce for two, three, four. Good. We move the ball and have a nice big stretch. Lengthen it out. Hug the knees into the chest and just bounce the knees to the chest. Rock yourself up into a seated position and a quick drink of water. And we're going into a little bit of a seesaw movement with the foam roller. So we're lying on our front now and we're going to bring the roller underneath the hands. So rock around onto your front. Take the roller ahead of you. Lower down onto your abs. Reach your arms ahead of you. Focus on squeezing those glutes so that the roll is actually underneath the wrists. And if you can, I want you to turn your feet out so you're pushing your big toe into the floor, really helping you engage that deep core line. So we're going to breathe in. Roll up so you're squeezing the glutes and breathe out. Roll forward. Take a nice deep breath in, pull up, and breathe out. Let's get into that seesaw motion. So again, a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, roll, extend forward, then lift the legs up off the mat. You're going to lift up and rock forward. Nice deep breath in, breathe out. Keep going. Five. Four more. And three. Two more. And the last one. Good. Release the legs. Bring the forehead onto the hands. One hand on top of the other. Keep the feet nice and wide. And just wiggling the hips from side to side. Feel the movement up the spine, into the neck and the shoulders, and breathe. Bring the hands next to the chest. Tuck your chin to your th so actually hold it up, open up, breathe in. As you breathe out, tuck your chin to your chest, round your spine and pull back into a child's pose and walk your hands forward, pull the tailbone back and have a nice stretch. Rest your forehead on the mat. your tailbone under, have a nice curl up, nice deep breath in, circle the shoulders up and back, and again link the hands behind the back, and you're going to nod the head from side, 
the sun. Release the arms and just circle the shoulders up and back. Come into a seated position and just feel the rotation. Hopefully you've got a very nice range of movement now. Let's take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, drop the elbow into the mat and have a nice little lateral stretch there. Breathe into the center. Drop the elbow, keep the hip down onto the mat. Bring the elbow closer if you need to. Push that hip down and stretch up and over. Good, and back to the center, hands onto the knees. From the side, take a nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, round the spine. Good. And come back up. And just circle the shoulders and front and shake and wiggle around. And well done. Thank you for joining me.